on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What is up guys? Do a review in Casa de Cheese in the Cheeseville, Florida location. Picked me up a Vivor thermal imaging tool. As you guys know from my previous videos, I had one that connected into my phone. Plug it in the USB port and then you can record it on the phone and that's all well and good. But it's nice having one of these handheld all-in-one units, you know. At least I thought so. Tight box. That's what she said. Or he said. Very airtight. This comes with a 64 gig SD card, product certificate, calibration certification, and the manual. It does come with a nice little holder. I love when they send holders. Almost looks like a pistol case. Watch out boys when you're wearing this out. It has a belt loop and a shoulder strap. It comes with a USB-A to USB-C charging cord. And here's the product. I've always wanted one of these. This is the SC240M Vivor Thermal Imaging Camera. So the IR sensor on this is 240 by 150. It has multi-image mode with a long battery life and it's drop resistant. It has a LCD on the back. Measuring range is negative 20 to 550 Celsius. Wavelength coverage is 8 to 14 micrometers. Viewing angle of field is 52.5 by 39.5. You can set it to read Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. Pseudo color modes are white hot, black hot, lava, iron red, rainbow, high contrast rainbow, and black and red. You can set a high temperature alarm. You can use up to 128 gigabyte SD card. Battery life is approximately 11 hours. Charging time is four hours. PC analysis software, it does support. And it has a tripod hole mount on the bottom. It is IP54 waterproof. It has a 500 milliamp internal battery. System initializing. All right, set up English. We'll set the date and the time. And there we have it. Showing a cold spot right where the ice maker is on that refrigerator. It does have a light on it. It's actually a pretty good picture. No SD card. I gotta put the SD card in it, boys. It's fully charged, but I'm gonna charge it up later. Hold the power button to power it off and on. Right on the top here is where the SD card goes. So that's your SD port and your charging port. These are handy tools just to see how your insulation is, if you have any leaks on a refrigerator or heater ducts. So you have your center spot, hot spot, cold spot, and close. You have your viewing mode. Right now it's an infrared. That's fuse. Picture in picture, visible light, and alignment. Then you have your palette, so you can change your color palette. This is white hot, black hot, iron, lava, rainbow, 
rainbow HC and red and gray. Look at some heat leaking there, huh? Hmm. That's the light. That's a, they must not have insulated behind those columns. I almost like that red and gray better. Then you have your settings. Measure and parameter. Temperature scale. High low alert. Photo settings. Let's see what this is. Photo settings. Photo auto save. We'll turn that on. Hit the back button. Temperature units. We're going to go to Fahrenheit. Date and time we set already. Language we set already. Display brightness. We'll go to high. Auto power off is 20 minutes. It's quite a long time. We'll leave it at 20. And system settings is the last. Device information, SC240M. You can factory reset from here and you can format the SD card. So it's pretty simple. Now I wonder if this will actually do video. Yeah, it's doing video. And to play back, there's a play back button here. It's hard to see the readings because I chose a palette with such a light background. Now what would be hot here? Uh, the display. That makes sense. What kind of insulation we have in a the roof there? 80 degrees. Walls 79.79 Wow, we leak around that door. That's one of the items on my list. These doors aren't lined up really good, which is a common thing. Let me change a palette. Something I can read the background. The lava seems pretty good. Let's do that one. But yeah, you can see it's it's 81 degrees where the leak is, 83. 78 on the door itself and the glass is 82 oh, there's a hot spot up there huh i don't know if they put that insulation down good there huh the air conditioner is on looks like it's blowing about 58 degrees so you hold the trigger to do video and you tap it to do a picture and you can see the insulation must not be exactly perfect on that spot huh that's a vent there's no insulation around that that's probably why it's a hot spot the GFI outlet is a hair warmer than the wall. Wall 76, that's 87. TV, it must have just auto shut off. TV was on. The door, same thing, the seal around the door isn't that great. 85, around the door. About 88 on the window. 79, 80 on the door. Another spot where the insulation must not be good. It's probably lifted up. I mean, you're only talking a little bit of a temperature variance here from 80 degrees to 77. There's a good one right there. 84 degrees, 79. Insulation must be pulled back up there. We'll go into the dark bathroom and see how this flashlight works. Huh, same thing on the wall there. Not as high as 80, but... Let's put the light on. Oh, it's not too bad. This room has a ton of hot spots. 
Not ridiculously different though, only a couple degrees. 56 degrees, 57. Here's my cable equipment. That's running at 104, 106, 105. The modem. And the router's up about 100. Close. And then you hold the trigger to stop recording. Let's save that. Pretty neat. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. Oh. It's warming back up. I guess because my hand was on the counter. That's kind of neat. Shut it off. Save. Very nice. Let's power this off. Holding the power button for about three seconds. Let's see how it fits in this case. Not bad. Have it on your side, like Clint Eastwood. How many thermal images did you think I took? One well, only excitement. I kind of forgot myself. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? I like it. This will be used a lot in the future. So I will put it in my recording equipment list on my description in my videos. Let's see what it looks like. I'll put the actual videos in the video, of course. Looks like it records an H.264. VLC Media Player will probably play it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. There's an image I took of it. This was the last video I did, but it's not putting the data of the heat. Hmm. Let's go to playback. Doesn't look like it's putting any data on this either for thermal on playback. It doesn't let you fast forward on playback. So I think it's a pretty good unit. I've always wanted one, but they cost thousands of dollars typically. So for a budget thermal imaging reader, I think it does pretty good. I'm a little disappointed that you can't take the videos off the card that were recorded and see them good because it seems to be cropped, the top and bottom of the image. And it also doesn't put the thermal data on it. That's a little disappointing to me, but it does in the photos. I think it does a great job. And if they can fix that recording section of it with some kind of firmware update, that'd be great. So if you want this unit, I'll put some information down below in the description. And as always, thanks again for watching. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.